Hey friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel here. Um, so, in my previous video, I showed you how to set up the, uh, the DX8 with your uh, AP stability and agility modes right here on the uh, flight mode switch and the return to home, dedicated return to home here on the, uh, the gear switch. Uh, and as I was sitting there, as I was uploading the video, uh, I thought about stagility mode, what people call stagility mode, um, and, and how nobody's really quite figured out yet how to get stagility mode on the QX3, the, the version 3 firmware, um, because of the way the um, firmware has now set up the uh, the, the flight modes on the transmitters um, and, and the way Blade shows everybody how to do it. And the, the biggest thing with that is understanding mixing and, and understanding your radio. Um, especially if you have the, um, you know, a, a program radio, the DX6 or higher radio. Uh, and, and if you're going to have one of these radios, you really need to understand how to mix. Um, things on your on your radio so I actually figured out stagility mode last night um, and, and for those of you who are unfamiliar with stagility mode uh, on your right stick here when your th thumbs off this stick when it's back to neutral this is in stability mode start giving your right stick input so elevator and aileron quad changes to agility mode. And a lot of people were contemplating that agility mode is not possible with the QX3. That's wrong. Um, because it's not, it has nothing to do with the quad. It has everything to do with your radio and your ability to program a mix in the radio to do that. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, before we get into the stagility mode, um, I'm going to do a quick review on the way I have my DX8 set up, um, just so that you have kind of a basic idea of, of what this is set at, um, so that when you go, if you want to go and program in a DX6, a DX7, any of those, you at least have the understanding of what's going on uh, in the radio. So. We're going to start it up in the uh, system setup mode. And we're going to go down here and I'm going to show you real quick just the switch select. So really the only switch selects that I've got is the flight mode to auxiliary, the gear to gear, and the knob to aux to. Nothing in the servo setup. Everything is done in the mixing. Okay, mix one. As you can see, uh, rate minus 40, um, and then 125 with no offset. Mix two, rate, or sorry, aux to gear. Rate minus 105, uh, minus 125 with a 40% offset. Um, and that is solely for return to home and then AP, uh, sorry, AP stability and agility mode right here on this switch. And if you can see on the quad, okay. So we've got purple mode, blue mode, red mode. And then no matter what this one does, you're in, you're in return to home. Okay. And that's the way I personally believe they should be set up. Because that's the way it used to be with the DX5E, is you had your flight mode switch right here. 
and you had your return to home right here. I like that setup. So I just emulated it on this radio. Okay, so. Now the way I have this set up, sorry. Okay, we're gonna go, we're actually gonna go over to mix three. Because like I said, stagility mode is nothing but programming a mix. So you can see right now I'm in blue mode and I've got stagility mode activated. So you can see when I give a stick input, that switches over to agility mode, hence the stagility. So I'm thumbs off, I have stability mode. As soon as I start giving it input, we have agility modes. This is very, very simple to do. Um, it took me literally five minutes after thinking about it for maybe 10 to figure out how to program in um, the stability. So what we're doing, oh shit, okay. On this, we're in mix three now. We have the aileron controlling the gear. So master and slave, rate 70 and minus 70, no offset. Now what you see down here is our switch is mix one. So that's this guy right here. So this mix is not active if that's not down. So stability mode off, stability mode on. Mix four is the same except for elevator is controlling gear and we have 70 and minus 70 and the same mix one. So mix switch position one down. Now that's it. That is stability mode. It's two, two mixes, one switch. And what you can see is we're still in stability mode. I'm going to turn that off. That mix is off. So I can sit here and I can do this all day long. And that's stability mode. As soon as I hit that, we're now in agility mode. Now it only works in stability mode because well if you're in agility mode, oops sorry, if you're in agility mode it doesn't matter you're already in agility mode. If you're in AP mode and you have that mixed down, you're still in AP mode. There you go. That is agility mode. Now you don't necessarily have, you're, every, every mix is going to be different. Um, the 70 and minus 70 for, for mine could vary depending on how you have your switch set up. So all I did was I went in and I said, okay, elevator and aileron are controlling the gear switch because that is what controls your flight modes. Um, like you've seen in the mix for my flight mode, it's this controlling the gear switch. So all we're doing is controlling, telling the radio that aileron and elevator are controlling the gear switch. So when you go, when it starts moving, it's going to throw a switch. Now all you have to do is say, okay, aileron or elevator controlling gear. Go like this. Then put it down, buddy. Uh, aileron and elevator controlling gear, and you just tell them how much. So really, all I did was sit here with the quad on and start going to my rates and start playing with it while holding this down. Start playing it out until you get into agility mode. That's it. Uh, if you have any comments, any questions, you know where to put them. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and. Please hit subscribe uh, if you want to be updated as to when I post new videos. I post them all the time, kind of an uh, irregular basis. They're not always the same day, the same time like a lot of people do. Uh, whenever I get the, the urge to do one, I do one. So thank you for watching um, Stagility Mode, uh, and not just for the DX8. 
Um, you know, this is it's a, definitely it's a stepping stone on how to uh, program this to agility mode. Feel free to comment. Thank you very much.